The Lord be with you. And be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nursed. But he replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Bulahang weekend ganatong tanan. The gospel reading, so short as you have heard, is actually a very significant recapitulation of the gospel readings that we have had this week, starting from Monday until tomorrow, which is actually the heart of which is prayer. And prayer is not just only mumbling words no, or saying something that we memorized, but also doing it. Practically doing or living out our own prayers. That's why we become prayers. And so these are the two dimensions of our response to the word of God. Unlike the separate distinction between Mary and Martha, I think that was the gospel reading a few days ago. One is active, the other is passive, or the other is listening, while the other one is very busy attending in the aspect of hospitality. Prayer should be understood or our response to the word of God is not just only about hearing the word but also putting it into practice into action and the blessed virgin mary is always at the forefront kanunay gid siyang maguna and i always like this context because today is saturday and every saturday if there are no major feasts or memorials we always offer this Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin, in veneration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who is the prime example of what it means to not just listen, but also do the Word of God, embracing it through her fiat. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, she says, and so we also say, be it done unto me according to your word. And this is now the very context of our reflection. It is not in the matter of, it is not only in the listening part. You know, many people do listen, but they do not do. Or that this is also the same as many people study. They learn so many things. They know many things, but they do not understand what they have known, unfortunately. Okay? And so this is now the integrative part of our gospel reflection for the whole week. We are always brought into this perspective. Listening, yes, that is very essential, but it is lacking when we do not do what we have heard, when we do not put into action what we have listened to. That's the reason why the constant challenge for all of us is to become living prayers. As we said, I think yesterday, prayers, because this is what it means to be a real disciple of the Lord, the Word made flesh. Amen. Amen.